The 89th Annual Academy Awards are this Sunday, and nine films are competing to take the top honor of Best Picture. But a new poll says that more than half of this country has not even seen any of these pictures, and none of those that are nominated especially. So we ask our movie critic, our guy who is an expert on all things Hollywood, producer <laughs> Matthew Lydell. <laughs> he is here to tell us all about these films. We trust you, Matt, because yes. we want to know Great. who's going to win. First of all, we've got just a few more days before the Academy Awards. How many people have seen all these films? I have not. I've seen, seen none. Pam's I've seen doing quite better. a few. So yes. this side is the 50. I've so seen one. You guys. I've seen one. Okay, so you are the expert. So I've tell us, what do we got to <laughs> see before Sunday? I have finally caught up on everything So uh, for Best Picture nominees. So uh, yeah, so here here for Best Picture, these are probably, you know, we have maybe three or four days to catch up on anything, uh, yeah. on everything. Uh, these are the three that have the best chance for Best Picture. La La Land, obviously everyone thinks that's going to be it. There is a surprising amount of people who think that Moonlight could just kind of sweep in I and suddenly so. take mm. it away. It's Manchester's, really like, it probably won't, but of, of all the rest, that probably has the best chance for uh, Best Picture. Ah, mm -hmm. so why do people like Moonlight so much? Moonlight is a little more serious than La La Land. The thing with La La Land is it's a movie about Hollywood. Fluff. It's uh -huh. it's it's, uh, it's, it's n maybe not fluff. It gets a little serious by the end, but it is very much a movie about Los Angeles, about Hollywood. They're going to go for something like that. Yes. Moonlight is a much heavier topic. Um, much better performances, uh, mm. in my opinion. Oh, what's um, Moonlight about? Moonlight is um, about a kid growing up in Miami. Um, he's a gay black kid who oh, right. doesn't feel like he lines up with anything in terms of social norms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's dealing with, uh, and it's him as a kid, um, him as a teenager, That's and right. then him as a young adult. Ah, mm. so, okay, which movie's going to win? The Academy Award for Best Picture. It's probably La La Land. Probably. Wow. I mean, wow. there's the slight chance for Moonlight, but yeah. may, probably not. Performances and then, who's best actor? So that's going to be a pretty interesting, so Manchester by the Sea and Fences for Best Actor. It's between Affleck. Casey Affleck and uh, Denzel Washington. Wow. A lot of people seem to be behind uh, Casey Affleck just because no one's really thought of him as like a really Leading. strong actor, as a lead <laughs> actor, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's just really surprising. Yeah, mm -hmm. well in Manchester by the Sea, he doesn't talk much. That's, he has yeah. to show everything with his face. He doesn't talk. And that's what I was actually really impressed by because you look at a lot of past, you know, big performances mm -hmm. for the Academy Awards. It's always big explosive personalities. Yeah. It's a lot mm -hmm. of big moments and everything. But with Manchester by the Sea, it's not that at all. It's very reserved. Mm -hmm. It's very muted. Holding in all the time. Yeah. Mm. And that's what I was just so impressed by with that. It was just yeah. so different from what you usually see rewarded. And I thought yes. it would be really cool if you kind of see yeah, that. Yeah, I just wanted to shake him and say, <laughs> say something. <laughs> Talk. Well. Okay. Females. Who's going to win for females? Best so actress. So that's going to be uh, between Fences and Moonlight. Because the oh. big, the big uh, competition right now is in supporting between uh, Viola Davis for uh, Fences and then Naomi Harris probably for Moonlight. Wow. We actually yeah. Uh, have, yeah, so right here you can see Fences, uh, Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. This is one of the big moments in the film. What uh, did you think of this movie? I thought it was great. I had not actually seen the uh, show on stage. Um, I thought as a movie, I was very aware of the fact that it was written for a stage. It uh -huh. basically takes place in this house and that's it. Yeah. Oh. So it definitely made me think, you know, it's maybe not like best picture, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it kind of, uh, you know, it's it's not best picture just because it doesn't feel like a movie necessarily. Mm -hmm. That that sounds wrong necessarily, but it, I was constantly like, this feels like it's for the stage. I saw Whereas it on Broadway. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas something like Moonlight spans across, you know, like mm -hmm. so uh, such a big span of time and you know so many different characters, mm -hmm. and it's so different. It's something that you really couldn't see maybe on stage oh, quite right. the same way. Were you surprised that Moonlight's already on demand? I that it, it seems odd that that would happen before even awards. It, it actually. Mm -hmm came out closer in like September or October okay, of last yeah. year, but then it came back in theaters after it started uh, wow. getting awards. Mm -hmm. uh, because I actually missed it when it was in theaters, and then by the time the Golden Globes happened, it came back. Well, it's a great wasn't way to see it, it this weekend. Yeah. 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 Wasn't it a part of the film festival? Didn't it come out? Yeah, it, it was part, I think, Moonlight? of Sundance, and it was yeah. a big, you know, it, it was a big deal there. Yeah. Of but course, this weekend is going to be so much mm -hmm. fun. We'll see if you're right. We'll because the Academy <laughs> Awards are Sunday, this Yay. Sunday, February 26th. The Academy
Academy Awards start at 8.30, but the red carpet that we all don't want to miss starts mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock on ABC7. You do not want to miss those clothes. Wow, those outfits. And, of course, you don't want to miss the Oscars. So be sure and watch every minute. We're going to be tweeting all the way through the show. We are. Yeah, like tweeting. I nice. am going to learn to tweet between now and then. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see my virginal tweets when we start on this. This will be great fun. So be sure to follow us through the night, and we'll be right back. Ha, ha, ha.